Hey everyone, Dave Guerra here. How's it going? This Vet Cooks, welcome. Thanks again for joining me. This is another episode of This Vet Cooks Barracks Edition or Dorm Cooking Edition, whatever you want to call it, whatever works for you. For you. So, what are we making today? Well, let's get into the ingredients. We're going to need a roll of crescent rolls, or crescent, yes, crescent rolls, and a package of hot dogs. That's right, we're making pigs in a blanket, pigs in a blanket. Now, optional, optional for you. Let me make a little room here, optional for you. You're, you can also include a little American cheese in this, or, or some shredded cheese. There we go, some Kobe Monterey Jack. That's what we have from our local HEB store. And so again, whatever you want, it's good, it's real simple, real easy to make, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We've got the cheese, I moved it out of the bag, and here it is, there's that. There's the crescent rolls, there's eight rolls in this, and there's eight hot dogs, so hmm, guess what, enough for the squad? Well, okay, not an infantry squad, uh, but enough for your squad if you're in the dorms. And uh, if not, you know what, you can save these, cook these up anytime, uh, freeze them, and eh, I wouldn't freeze them. Keep them in the fridge. As long as you eat them throughout the week, you should be good to go. Little reheat in the oven. We're going to cook these for about, uh, I think the instructions here say 20 minutes. Uh, heat at 375. Bake, no, I'm sorry, not 20 minutes. 20 minutes, the whole thing. 9 to 12 minutes until golden brown. So don't forget, we're going to have cheese. We're going to have some loose cheese. We're also going to do the uh, American slice here. So be careful with the loose cheese. Some of it will spill out, but we're going to use our pan, our metal sheet here, and we're going to spray it so that way you have that good to go. So let's uh, break things down. Golly, alrighty. Okay, so there's two, and oops, golly, it's a little done. All right, so that means we gotta heat the uh, thing back up. Now here with this cheese, with this American cheese, again. One for two. Now, you don't have to use American cheese or the shredded cheese. Whatever cheese works for you. A little Gouda would also be good. So that would not hurt. Let's go for another one here. So now we have half our dogs ready to go. Again, you don't have to be all fancy schmancy. You saw how I did the first ones. Last these legs for. I'm just gonna cut them off the uh, the dough itself. Okay. 
laid out work a little bit now I have a little bit more room to work with and you should always have a little bit of room to work with I know living in the dorms living in the barracks and when I say barracks you know you got to follow those rules if you're not allowed to cook then by all means I am not condoning it but I am a civilian so uh, you know the civilian is always right right we're the taxpayer so remember that uh, now for those of you in the dorms if you're allowed to cook by all means you have already been doing that doesn't matter what you cook I know but hey, this might be something to get into, you know, a little, make a little pocket change. I know people make sandwiches and saw that commercial of that guy doing the grilled cheese. Well, why not the pig in a blanket? And i got two more to go. And that's the beauty of the crescent rolls. It's like they were made for pigs in a blanket because... There's eight, eight crescent rolls, eight hot dogs typically in a package, so it all just works out. And the last of the hot dog, the last weenie here. And again, you saw we're not using a lot of cheese because it will spill out, it will burn, and once it spills out onto the pan. So, gotta watch that. But other than that, there we go. There they are. All right, so, into the oven, 375 degrees, about nine to 12 minutes. See you in a bit. And there they are, that's it. Pigs in a blanket, crescent roll, hot dog, some cheese. Now, the hot dog could have been anything. Could have been the ones that you, that are stuffed with jalapeno and cheese already. So that, that would have been nice. Uh, how do you serve these? Well, you can pick them up and eat them right now. Obviously, let the bread cool down a little bit. But um, you can do a little mustard, a little uh, ketchup, uh, dipping or spreading it over the top, whatever works for you. A little relish because technically it's still a hot dog. And uh, whatever else works. Bag of chips on the side, all that, and you are good to go. Beverage to go with this. You know what? If you're over 21, you know exactly what kind of beverage goes with this. And if you're under 21... Well, again, under 21, you know exactly what kind of beverage goes with this. Anything, anything, whatever you want. Water, Kool-Aid, Tropical Punch, Powerade, those uh, energy drinks. It doesn't matter. You know, what works for you works for you. So enjoy. Time for lunch.